Today's mentoring moment is entitled The Strut. On a recent vacation, my wife told me about a unique boy she saw in the hotel lobby. He looked to be about 10 years old and was remarkably confident. He held his shoulders high and strutted around the huge lobby by himself. Later, my wife saw him again by the pool. This time behind him, step for step strutted his father. Inprinting is a term we psychologists use to describe an animal's instinct to copy its parents' actions. This is one of the first ways it learns to survive. Children often do the same thing. At a young age, we look for role models to teach us how to live life, and we often carry what we learn from them into our adulthood. When my daughter was born, I remember singing her a song I hadn't heard for 20 years. My dad used to sing it to my young sisters. Whether we like it or not, we internalize and remember both the good and the bad of our early relationships with our fathers. But men, listen up. These early experiences aren't our destiny. We can build on the good and choose a different path from the bad. Our minds are more sophisticated than animals who simply imprint, which means we can decide to change how you and I act. We can recognize and accept our responsibility to be a positive influence to all the young men around us. 1 Timothy 4.12 says, don't let anyone look down on you because you're young. Set an example for the believers in what you say and how you live. Also set an example in how you love and what you believe. Show the believers how to be pure. In other words, watch how you strut because people are going to strut like you. How can we strut if our major influences in life were bad influences? How can we strut if our immaturity causes us to reject the good examples we were given? We must look to God as a loving father and perfect example. As we become close to God, we can strut like him. What does God's strut look like? God is loving. He loved us enough to sacrifice his only son, and he calls us to sacrifice and love others every day. Secondly, God is patient. We should demonstrate patience with each imperfect person we meet and that includes ourselves. Three, God is fair. Recognize right and wrong and how it affects our decision-making. Four, God is giving. We need to release what we hold on to so tightly. Only then can we contribute to God's plan with our energy, skills, and financial resources. Five, thank goodness for this, God is reliable. He is faithful and always fulfills his promises. Likewise, we must mean what we say and help others feel safe. God is powerful. We should develop our toughness, confidence, and persistence and build a manly identity grounded in God's character. Let's pray. God, help us encourage the young men around us. Help them notice our strut and see us as true men of God. Please forgive us for our imperfections and help us change where we need to. Empower us to be patient, humble, and reliable servant leaders. Amen. Remember, God is quite the conversationalist. Spend time talking and listening to God today.